No matter what you decide to sell, there are gonna be some niches and some categories that sell better than others. So in this video, I want to talk to you all about the home and kitchen category on Amazon. And I've got notes on my computer here because I'm gonna go into some serious detail about some products, their numbers, if, if they'll be successful or not. And obviously I can't remember all the numbers off by heart in my head, so I've got the numbers written down here so that I can really give you the best information. So before we get started with this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button, um, hitting the bell notification so that you know when I bring out new videos. Um, I'm Shimmy Morris and I'm making this video for AMZ Scout's YouTube channel. So if you wanna see when AMZ Scout bring out some new videos, whether I'm on it or someone else is on it, then definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit the, um, hit the like button and if, if you like this video, and leave a comment down below what categories you currently sell in or what categories you're looking to sell in. And let's get straight into the video. So firstly, the home and kitchen category on Amazon is a huge, huge market. It has over, what is it, 86 million products. Okay, over 86 million products. That is crazy, but forget about that number because this category is growing exponentially every single day. It's just ridiculous. There are new products being added. There are just, it's just growing so madly. And because of the huge volume of products, you can technically still have a product be in that category and have a BSR of 8 million and still be in the top 10%. Now, I'm not recommending that or, or anything like that because you don't want your product to have a BSR of 8 million. However, we like to look at, for this category specifically, for your product BSR to be below 50,000. And there are a few benefits to selling in this category. The main benefit is that it's hugely ungated or it's largely ungated. So what does that mean? Well, a lot of categories selling on, on Amazon are gated categories, which means you need to get further approval from Amazon. Um, and it's just, it's just difficult. I don't recommend it. So for a new seller, selling in the home and kitchen category is perfect because you don't need to get um, ungated for anything. It, there's so many opportunities out there. There's so many products. So that is a huge, huge benefit. Um, now, just, just so you know what we're doing here. So we are going to be looking at some products and what we're gonna be looking at is a few different criteria. We're gonna be looking at the review, the average reviews, the average monthly sales, um, the margins, because that's really important, and sometimes we'll look at the potential product score that you get with the AMZ Scout Chrome extension. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these few trending niches and we're gonna see if these criteria fit, see if you could actually sell these products. So let's start with, what's our first product? Our first product is a smudge kit. They are selling an average of 542 times a month. Um, they have an average review of 131, so, so far that's really good. The average reviews are brilliant. The average sales are brilliant. They're selling for around $20 and have a margin of 62%. Now, to put this all in perspective, we like to look at products that have maybe 400 plus sales a month, have a BSR of under 1,500 and have reviews for un under 400. So for this product to have 542 sales a month, have um, reviews, average reviews of 131. That's amazing, average reviews of 131 is so low. The margin is 62% and we aim for a 40% margin. So this margin is out of this world. And the price being $20, well we aim for between 15 and $35. So $20 is perfect, absolutely perfect. So the next product we're going to be looking at is a beach towel. Now, a beach towel is quite a seasonal pro seasonal product, you're probably thinking, and it will only sell at certain times of the year. And that is true, however, it does sell quite well throughout the year, and I actually know someone who's selling a beach towel. So, what are the numbers looking for beach towel? Well, their sales are over a thousand a month, so that is, that's crazy, okay? That is absolutely crazy that they're over a thousand a month they sell for around $25 a pop with a 60% margin. Let that sink in for a minute because that is crazy. That is really crazy numbers. And the average reviews is less than 230. So that is a huge potential product right there, beach towels. That is a product that you can go and research right now and just see, maybe you can start selling that. So that's huge. And let's, while we're on the uh, creative train here, let's look at the next product, which is wooden picture frames. Now. This product is a bit delicate, so 
that might be the reason I would personally decide not to sell it. However, the potential score of this product is seven and um, it sells for a little higher than beach towels and with the reviews, they average at 159 reviews and it sells around 1,266. I mean, I know that's a specific specific number, but it sells like over 1,000, over 1,000, 1,200 a month, which is also, like, that's crazy. That's so many sales. And yes, I know it is, it is decorative wood. It is, it is uh, like, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be delicate. And that's the reason the margins are 53% lower, but they're still over 50% and remember my personal aim is 40% so the fact that they're still over 50% is really really good and on top of that let's segue into um, decorative so our next niche would be cotton stems okay some of these products I don't know what they are but that doesn't matter because when I'm researching I will find out I'll learn new products that's the whole point of researching a lot of the products that I researched I didn't know that they even existed before I researched them and now I know all about them so it's really crazy to think that when you're doing research you're actually going to discover so many products that you've never heard of and you didn't even think existed so you've got cotton stems so what does this look like this has an average of 284 sales a month so that, that's quite low um they sell for just under 17 dollars and have a solid 57 percent margin so the reason that this product is on this list even though it's got so little sales is because the average reviews are 20. Yes, 20. So that's, I mean, that's crazy. That's, the average reviews are being 20. So yes, it does, they have lower, lower sales, but you've got to put everything into consideration here. You, this isn't an exact science. If something's lower, but something else is higher, it can sort of average out in the middle and, and be okay. So that is why this has the potential score of eight on the Chrome extension, on the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, which you can have a look at. So. That's just, that's amazing on its own. And if you're into keeping like healthy and staying fit, well, there's also a bamboo activated charcoal air purifier. Now this is an odd product, but it averages around 1,000, nearly, one, nearly 1,200 sales a month. And um, it sells for about $20 a piece, right? So. That's quite a good. That's quite a good um, sales point. That's quite a good sales um, price point, twenty dollars a piece, and the reviews are about two hundred and fourteen. So averaging about two hundred and fourteen with a uh, margin of fifty eight percent. So that's quite a good product. That is quite a good product, and um, if if you still if you want to learn more about the product, you can click on the potential product score in the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, and it will bring up like it will bring up a, like a little box with more information about the product that you can see you can just delve deep into this product if you really want now what's the next product the next product on this list is the bedside caddy so what's that looking like well this is just a good storage this is just good storage place for um, if you want to say organize or anything like that and this sells for around $15 and um, they're selling, what is it? What does that say? That's, they're selling for 620, an uh, average of 620 times a month. So that's crazy. And the margin is still over 50%. So it still ticks that box of having a good margin. So that's, that's that product and that's a good product on its own. Now, we all know it's fall right now. So you've got pumpkins and you've got hay rides and well, you don't have hay rides so much in the UK, but you've got pumpkins and it's Halloween time and it's just, and what does this all mean? Well, this means that um, burlap follows and and burlap goes straight into people's homes and what are they called? They're called um, table runners, burlap table runners. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I hadn't heard of this product just because that I'm, I'm 23, I never really looked into this sort of product before, but after doing some research and actually seeing what this product is, it's quite, it has quite, poten quite good potential, especially in this month. Now I know going for products that are trending isn't always the best. You wanna go for a product that will sell throughout the year, but this product does look like it could sell quite well throughout the year as well. So the um, this stands out because it has 49 reviews, an average of 49 reviews, and it has over, uh, what, what does it say? It has a 55% profit margin. So that's really, really good. And the average price is about $16.5. So that's pretty good and it will be good. I think this product will specifically be good over the like 
for the next four or five months, the cold months of the year. This will definitely sell quite well. So that's seven products done in this niche and in the home category, and we've got three more to go. So let's have a look. We've got produce baskets, okay? And this will be popular throughout the entire year, and this sells, what is it, for five? This sells an average of 522 a month. And this sells for over $35, right? Let that sink in, $35, that's crazy. And it still has a score of eight on AMZ Scout's Chrome extension tool. So you've got 522 sales per month um, of a product that's, that's $35 and over and a score of eight. And what's the reviews like? Well, the reviews are just around 200 on average. So it ticks pretty much all of those boxes. So that is definitely a product that you can go into and, and, and research a bit more, see if there's a potential there, go and see if you can source it. That is a good product. Now, what else do we have here? So we've got, well, this is a bit of an odd one, but we've got an LED alarm clock. Now, I know this is a bit random, but this is a pretty good product. The highest average margin of this video, this has a margin of 66%. So of all the products I've said in this video, this one here has the highest average margin. And it's got a low review count and the sales is sitting at about 420 a month. So that still is just above our 400 that we, that we like to, to do when we're doing product research. So that could be a pretty good product for you to look into. And last but not least, and this is my personal favorite just because I find these products so easy to sell, and that is a dog water bottle. Now a dog water bottle, that might sound like a really random product, but check out these numbers. It's got an average of 61 reviews, 425 sales, and a, uh, an average margin of 61%. Those are some ridiculous numbers. So I would definitely, definitely use the Chrome extension tool, look at, go onto Amazon, research these products in detail. And if you want, find them on, on Alibaba and start selling them because that is just, these numbers are really, really good. So those are all the products that I have for you in this video. I hope you like this video. That is all that there is for this video. This was the first type of video we've done like this. I thought it was quite a clever idea of breaking down a category on Amazon, telling you some good popular products that you can go and sell. And I really, really like this video idea. So if you like this idea of me, of me breaking down um, product categories in Amazon, let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said at the beginning, my name is Shimmy Morris and my YouTube channel is gonna be the link in the description. I'm here making videos for AMZ Scout, but I also have my own channel where I make Amazon related videos and how to make money videos. Um, so every so often I make a video for AMZ Scout and this is one of them. So this video was breaking down the home and kitchen category. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.